we're, what, we're, we're doing a red wine, aren't we? Red wine sophisticated. Look, Merlot, Merlot suit, Merlot suit. It goes with it. No, it doesn't. Well, I think it does. Merlot. People on the internet will know that a Merlot is posh. A suit is posh, and so and so are some glasses. So it goes. Why? What? What? Come on! Please, please. Oh, let's just go do the review. Go on. Okay, go. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. Hello and welcome to the UK Wine Vlog, that's hey, Jamie. This is Adrian. And today we'll be reviewing a Echo Falls Californian Merlot. Nice bit of red there. Yes. What the hell are you doing in that still? What I like my I like my suit jacket and my Take breath. it off! Uh, Take them off! Fine. Take them off, take them off. Mm. I bet you said that I bet you said that a lot. Yeah. In bed. Take it off, take it off. Just oh, fine, look, the jacket's off, right? The jacket's off. Have professional. Be professional. That's what we're supposed to be. <laughs> What's professional? Yeah. Yeah, right. Just. There we go. <clears throat> now that's sophistication. It would have been better with the suit jacket. Just. Watch what you're doing. Right. Right. There you go. Thank you. Let's see jacket back. No. That's a very, very bold colour that. I like it. It's got a very good colour. Although without well, having too much of a filler style. It's just it's um, it's almost it's almost like squash, like yeah, really strong black and squash. Yeah. Or you know when they say wine coloured <coughs> carpets, it's actually the colour that you've seen those carpets in. Yeah, and those wine coloured carpets are just wine that's been spilt on non-stop. <laughs> right, loads, 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 of, loads of drunken nights in. Yeah. So that's not. That's a, that, that, that is really fruity, that's got a nice refreshing smell to it. It smells like a rosé. You know, it, it does. It actually smells like a rosé. It's got, it's, got it's got a lot of dark berries to it. Yeah. I can tell, I can smell, uh, you know, black, uh, black, uh, blackcurrants, blueberries. Even strawberry or raspberry, it's... Uh, yeah, I've got, a, I've, got a hint of, I've got a hint of a strawberry in there. Right. A raspberry. Mm. Well, first wine taste of a red. Mm. Here we go. Cheers. Wow, you know that's not that bad. That actually tastes like a rosé. It is. It's really smooth. I mean, this I, is... if I'm honest, I did have a, a slight prejudice against um, against I've red wines. Had them before. <clears throat> now I thought they would have been too bold, too overpowering, and you just couldn't enjoy it. But that, that's a that that's is a lovely, a very smooth and. It's got a lot of, again, it's got a lot of flavour to it, but it doesn't, it's not too much. No, it's a delicate red. On the cover, it says uh, ripe plums and blueberries in, in the Merlot. What I will say was, I can't taste, I can't taste plums. No, I can't. I, can, I can taste blueberry, the, yes. I can taste the blueberries, and there is a hint of, there is a hint of black currants. Maybe raspberry as well. Yeah, it's more berries, and well, yeah, it, it's just the, the really, really, the really tiny foods, like yeah. blackberries, blueberries, strawberry. But no plum. I can't. No, I I can't pick that out. My impressions are more uh, in, in in an even in a nice in a nice posh meal for two. Yeah, I think. definitely, definitely. A bit of candlelight dinner, and this will this will go well with like with like a beef dinner maybe. Like a, like a nice. Yeah. It's a wine to relax to, but not outside. It's more more of an more of an indoorsy wine. Like if you have, if you if you have a nice a nice a nice little uh, get a nice little um, night in. This is this is the wine for you. It's got some nice flavours and it's not too overpowering for you. You could maybe have a couple of friends round to oh. enjoy it, but I think it's more of a couples thing. Yeah, it's, this is I'm lost for words. It's actually it's actually surprised me. Yeah, this wine is actually rather nice. I was actually worried to drink it. You know, I would I, I can't get I can't get enough of this. Even just pouring it screams screams sophistication. Just seeing the red come out. Yeah, is. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. It's not dry. No. Either. It's nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not dry at all. It isn't dehydrating me, and I want to keep drinking it. Yeah. Because I'm enjoying it. I, I wish we had more than one bottle. Yeah. Well, it is it is cheap enough actually. Yes. It was right around the. F um, the average price at the supermarket is uh six pound. Six pound. That's not really that bad. It it it's a really nice smell. It's nice. It's 
very subtle as well. I mean, I said I like my flavours, but but sometimes subtlety can, some, yeah. you know, a minimal a minimalistic approach can make more of an impact than going over the top of your flavours. Yeah, because the flavour is quite minimalist, but the colour isn't, and that's that's fine. It, it yeah. it's a red, and that's fine, but it doesn't taste like a red, mm. or it doesn't taste like any of the bolder, really bold red. The thing is though, you taste this and you don't feel like you've you paid so little for it. No, you're at a restaurant where you're paying about thirty pounds for a glass. Yeah. There you go. That's six quid. You said yeah. it was six Echo pound for, is the Echo average for. across the big supermarkets. If you want a red, there you go. But again, this is not based. This is not based on personal opinion. We've got in blind. Yeah. Well, I've got I've got it with prejudice, and you've got it with. A no, I did as well. It. It's nice. It's. To put it simply, it's nice. There's no way to describe it without either using the words beautiful, gorgeous, or maybe even sexy because yeah. of the colour. You can imagine, you can imagine it if it's a woman having it like, you know, nice long flowing hair, nice body that you just want to, want to embrace. I would, embr I would embrace the wine if it was a real person. I'd embrace the hell out of it. Oh, actually, I'm not the Yes, your glass is a bit empty. You think that's just to pour it now? Because we know how nice it is, that's about equal, isn't it? You know, I don't care, I actually want more because the wine's so nice, I want more. Well, that's disgraceful. You but I'll let you. You may pour it. The next you. one I get, the next one I'll pour it and I'll get more. Oh, of course. I'll, I'll just get the whole bottle. You fit, it, you fit it right up to the top and I get like a little drop. <laughs> no, I'll just drink it straight out of the bottle. Oh yeah, being really classy. Mm-hmm. But again, t two and a half percent can make all, all the difference in how inebriated you inebriated you are. I mean, I mean, being with the, being with the internet, have you, have you ever had that sense where you're just before tipsy, but you're nice and happy? You're like, way this is what half of what I can do with a red, and that's only two and a half percent difference to the white Zinfandel. It's amazing. What, it's amazing what a couple of percent can do. See, I don't really see what he means. I'm good and sober. Well, I'm not sober, but that's not the point. I'm not as far gone as he is. Far gone. Do you have any? Do you have any final thoughts on your wine? Well, what 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 I can say is, it looks good coming out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. It has a good colour, tastes good. It holds its taste. It's not too strong. It's a perfect starter red if you've never had one before. Yeah. What would your closing statement be? You know, it's a very Surprising wine, I've, I've noticed, because if, you've never, if you've, never, you've never had red before, or if you've got some bias towards it, you drink that, you will be gobsmacked. I drank that, and the flavours just flooded, my it just flooded. And it's, 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 one, it's a really tasty wine. It's actually made me want to drink that more, more, than, a, more than a white or rosé. It's, it's got a lot of flavour to it. What, would you, what score would you give it out of 10? Score? Well difficult because I don't want to seem as though I'm being too um, generous mm. but at the same time I don't want to seem as though I've just made all those nice comments about it and then be a tight ass. Mm. so if I'm being honest if I'm being completely honest I want to say I'll give it 8.7 because I want it to nearly have a 9 Maybe so what would your score be though? You know, I'm gonna be generous, and I'm actually gonna give this a nine out of ten, because just just because of the just because of the fact, it's a, it's it's changed it's changed my uh, prejudice against against reds, and I will probably have, have another red, like mm -hmm. a, a strong one maybe, just to yeah. see, see what it's like. So I give it a nine because because the, because the flavour was really enticing. It had a consistent flavour, mm -hmm. and the colour, and, 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 even, and even the colour was was just really sophisticated. So I really don't want to give it a 10 because I don't want to say yeah. it's, a, it's a perfect wine. There's no such thing as a perfect wine. And we will see you next time when we'll be reviewing a... We'll be reviewing a rosé, a straight rosé. Not a white not white Zinfandel that's halfway between white and rosé, an actual rosé. I will we'll see you soon. If you'd, like to, if you'd like to leave a comment, just, uh, just leave them down there. Somewhere down there maybe. Yeah. About there. Uh, somewhere in that area. So just, just, just any, anywhere you can. If yeah. you can leave a comment somewhere, just leave it. So he's Jamie, and this is Adrian, and this will be the UK yeah. Wine Vlog. Bye. Take care.